Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to the latest Scan Tool Network video. In this video, we're going to be looking at the X Tool D7 Diagnostic Package, which is a multi vehicle, multi system, and special function uh, diagnostic tablet tool. Um, if you are interested in picking up this tool, I'd highly recommend using one of the links in the description below this video because that will take you to the official product. There are fakes, there are clones on the market, and you really don't want to damage your vehicle because they can. So make sure you go for the genuine tool by clicking the links in the description below this video. So we have this tool plugged into the diagnostic port of an Audi Q5 with a traction control and ABS warning light on the dashboard there. So we're going to go to Diagnosis and we're going to select our manufacturer. So we're going to go to Audi. Um, we can go to System Selection, Full Diagnosis and then we can click on to the Brake Electronics which is the ABS system on these vehicles and it should allow us to communicate with the ABS system and pull up some fault codes to allow us to find out why these warning lights are there so we go to read trouble code and we've got two fault codes here so the first one is rear right ABS wheel speed sensor and electrical circuit uh, 00287 is the fault code then we below that we've got 00473 electronic park and brake control module now we do know from experience though that when the um, when one of the ABS sensors has failed it will also trigger a fault in the electronic park and brake so we can assume on this particular fault that it's not a problem with the electronic park and brake more so though the, the rear we, uh, ABS sensor so once we change out the rear ABS sensor put a new one in the good news is they're only about 20 pounds so we put a new ABS sensor in and then we'll be able to come back um, and go into clear trouble code and then get rid of the warning lights on the dashboard uh, but for this video we were not at that stage yet we're just at the stage where we are diagnosing the fault and it's given us the information we need now we'll go and change the sensor and then we can uh, get rid of all of the warning lights uh, but it's a it's a really good package it'll do that for all vehicles it'll cover all systems for all vehicles and not only that though it gives you lots of special functions as well so if you need to do service functions um, it'll allow you to do lots of that uh, but use the links in the description below this video as I say because fixing clones are available and they can damage your vehicle. It's just not worth going down that route. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.